What do you mean by a buck boost converter? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome back to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let me ask you guys the obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term buck boost converter? Well, let's find out. So the word buck boost converter, what this states is that it is a kind of a DC to DC converter. That is, it converts one form of DC voltage to another form of DC voltage. But here, it can act both as a buck converter as well as a boost converter. Which means that a buck converter means that it acts as a step down kind of DC to DC voltage converter. Whereas boost converter states that it acts as a step up DC to DC voltage converter. So in the case of a buck converter, the output voltage would be less than the input voltage. Whereas in the case of a boost converter, the output voltage would be boosted and therefore will be greater than the input voltage. So a buck boost converter can act both as a buck converter as well as a boost converter. How is that? Well, let's find out. So for this, first let us construct the circuit diagram of a particular buck boost converter. First, we'll have a particular source voltage. Let this be say V. Now this particular source voltage is connected to a switch like this. This switch is then connected to a particular inductor like this. Let us say the inductance of this particular inductor is L. And now here a particular diode is connected like this. This then is connected to a particular capacitor like this. And across this capacitor a particular load resistance is connected like this. Let the resistance be R, let the capacitance be C and let this diode be represented as D. So here if this is the input voltage then the output voltage would be obtained across this particular resistor. Here is where we obtain the output voltage. So this is the basic diagram of a buck boost converter. So when you see this diagram the first thing you have to know is the fact that this particular circuit can work in two states. The first state is when this switch is on and the second state is when this switch is off. So there are two conditions of working for this particular buck boost converter. So for this, let us first assume the case in which the particular switch is on. Let this switch be S. Now the switch S is on. So in the on condition, what we observe is that the current starts flowing in this particular loop like this. A current starts flowing like this in this particular loop. Say let it be IL. So this IL starts flowing here. But you might be wondering, why is it only flowing through this loop? Why is it not going here? That is because we have provided a diode over here. And therefore over here, this diode is in the reverse bias condition. And therefore current cannot flow like this. While it tries to flow like this, it hits a diode which is in the reverse bias condition. And therefore it will block the passage of current through this particular direction. And therefore current will not flow in this particular direction. So when the current starts flowing in this particular loop, a polarity will be developed across this inductor. This will be plus, this will be minus. This is because an energy will start building up inside the magnetic field that is associated with this particular inductor. So therefore, as the energy starts increasing after a particular time, it will start to develop a particular voltage across this particular inductor. So that is what happens when the switch is on. Now let us assume that we are turning off the switch. The switch is in the off position like this. So when the switch is in the off position, current will not flow like this. So therefore, this loop of current will be absent here. And what we further observe is that this particular polarity gets inverted. That is, this becomes plus and this becomes minus. So therefore, as a result of this, what we observe is that a current starts flowing like this. A current starts flowing like this and therefore this inductor will start providing a potential difference to this capacitor and therefore a polarity of plus minus develops across this capacitor. And therefore as a result of this, it is this capacitor that provides a particular voltage, an output voltage to the resistor that is connected across this capacitor over here. This is what happens when the switch is in the off position. So this thus is the basic working of a buck 
post converter so here this is a kind of a switched converter okay what that means is that this switch will be alternatively turned on off on off on off it will be periodically turned on and off but manually turning on and turning off this switch is very hard so what we do for that is that this switch over here is replaced with a particular semiconductor device like this and at this particular input a pulse with modulated signal is given like this so what a pulse with modulated signal states is that this much amount of time is a time for which the switch must be on whereas this much amount of time is a time for which the switch must be off so it becomes on off on off on off so while providing this pulse with modulated signal to here we can control a periodic turning on and off of this switch so this is the time for which the switch is on whereas this is the time for which the switch is off so now let us assume the first case that is during this case when the switch is on so when the switch is in the on condition we saw that the current will flow in this particular loop like this so when the current flows in that particular loop what we observe here is that a particular voltage would be developed across this particular inductor and a particular polarity would be obtained like this therefore the voltage that will be developed here that is voltage of the inductor vl in the on condition is equal to this particular voltage that is a voltage of the particular source so vl in the on condition is equal to v itself and for a pulse with modulated signal there is something referred to as a duty cycle so duty cycle d is referred as d is equal to the time for which a particular switch is on divided by the total time total time is the time on plus time off so therefore in the on condition the time for which this particular switch is on is given as duty cycle d into total time t that is what we get over here so this is what happens in the on condition next let us consider the situation when the switch is in the off condition so in the off condition what we observe is that this particular polarity gets inverted that is this becomes plus and this becomes minus so when this becomes inverted current starts flowing like this so when current starts flowing like this what we observe is that at the load also a polarity like this would be obtained so therefore it is an inverting regulator that is whatever polarity is there at the source the inverted polarity would be obtained at the output so therefore here in the off condition the voltage across the inductor vl off is equal to minus of v0 and the time period for which it is off t off is given as 1 minus d into t so now applying voltage second law across this inductor we get vl on into t on plus vl off into t off is equal to 0 that is what we get okay but vl on is given as v and t on is dt and vl off is given as minus v0 and t off is given as 1 minus d into t so substituting these values over here we get v into dt plus minus v0 into 1 minus d into t is equal to 0 so therefore on simplifying this we get the value of v0 as v0 is equal to d divided by 1 minus d into v this is the value of the output voltage that we get in the case of a buck boost converter which is v0 is equal to d divided by 1 minus d into v so now let us see the case for which this particular converter acts as a buck converter and a boost converter so first case let us assume that the value of the duty cycle d is greater than 0.5 let us say the value of d is say equal to 0.6 if the value of d is equal to 0.6 then the value of v0 becomes v0 is equal to 0.6 divided by 1 minus 0.6 which is 0.4 into v so that is, is equal to 3 by 2 into v that is v0 is equal to 3 by 2 into v that is the output voltage is greater than the input voltage therefore the output voltage is boosted and therefore it acts as a boost converter in this particular case that is when the duty cycle is greater than 0.5 it acts as a boost converter
Next, let us assume that the duty cycle is less than 0.5. Let us assume we say D is equal to 0.4. So when D is equal to 0.4, what we get is that V0 is equal to 0.4 divided by 1 minus 0.4, which is 0.6 into V, which is equal to 2 by 3V. That is, the output voltage is less than the input voltage. That is, it acts as a buck converter. So, therefore, when the duty cycle is less than 0.5, it acts as a buck converter. So, this thus is the basic principle behind how a particular buck boost converter acts both as a boost converter as well as a buck converter. As simple as that, guys. Next, let us now see the waveforms that are associated with a particular buck boost converter. So first, let us assume that the switch is in the on condition. So when the switch is in the on condition, we saw that the current flows in this particular loop like this. So first, let us plot the voltage across this particular inductor L, VL. So when it is in the on condition, the voltage across this inductor is equal to this particular voltage V, that is a positive value of V is obtained across the inductor. But now, when the switch is in the off condition, what we saw was that the polarity gets inverted and therefore a negative voltage is obtained across the inductor like this. Again, when the switch is turned on, you get a positive voltage like this. And again, when the switch is turned off, you get a negative voltage like this. This is the waveform that is associated with the voltage that is obtained across the inductor. Next, let us see the current that is developed across this particular inductor, which is say IL. IL is the current flowing through this particular inductor. So, in the on condition, what we saw was that the current flows like this and therefore the current starts increasing inside this particular inductor. So, therefore, we obtain something like this. The current is increasing. And now, when the switch is turned off, what we saw was that this inductor starts releasing the current through this particular loop towards the capacitor like this. And therefore, the current starts decreasing like this. Again, when the switch is turned on, the current starts increasing like this. And again, when the switch is turned off, the current starts decreasing like this. So, these thus are the basic waveforms of the voltage and the current that is developed across this particular inductor. As simple as that. So guys, this thus sums up what you refer to as a buck boost converter. So in this video, we saw what basically a buck boost converter is along with the circuit and the working operation of a buck boost converter. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a buck boost converter. And we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.